you're never satisfied with a point, I'm sure. But given the balance of play, would you take a point? Well, I'll never take a point, but I know what you're saying, that uh, we was as bad in the second half as we was good in the first half. And you know, I said to the boys that we've had them watched and they're decent. If you give them room and time and, and you're not on top of them, we was on top of them in the first half. And we were the ones that were most likely to. I think then they started maybe believing their own publicity and uh, and going out and, and didn't perform. And not one player in the second half, in my opinion, came out of any credit because uh, we sat back, we couldn't hold it up up front, and midfield couldn't get on the ball, and uh, we, we, we couldn't defend um, a, a lively team in the second half. And so it only goes to prove that it, we was right that uh, if you let these teams play, they've all, they've all got ability. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't, we couldn't get it going in that second half for, for whatever reason. But um, first half we'd done all right, second half we was really poor. It was flat, everything was flat. I thought we were flat, I thought the crowd was flat um, because we wasn't doing much, although we were doing a bit more in the first half. And I just thought that, you know, the, the, the club, we all, we all, if we're going to lift it, we've got to lift it. We've all got to lift it, do you know what I mean? And, you know, they had a noisy little bunch up there, and um, you know, I know it's the players that have got to do it, and I've got to pick the right players that are going to create an atmosphere, but um, I just, you know, I'm, I'm always honest, I just felt the club was flat, the players and the fans. This is just the and I love them, by the way. So uh, this is like smacking your little kid. You love him, but you sometimes got to say what you, what you feel. This is just the straightest you've been all season? Yeah, it is. That's the worst we played all season for 45 minutes. There was nothing out there. That was like a group of kids that we'd just taken off the street and said, go on, lads, go and have a game. And I, I don't like to see that. So it was the worst we've been, for, in my opinion, all season for a half. I mean, yeah, you, you know, the, the people with the glass half full are going to say, in the end, that ain't a bad point with the way all the other results went. And there were some worse results than ours. But I always look at the performance, and that performance weren't good enough to win the league. That, you know, we're going to have to really work hard over the next few weeks to make sure that we. We pick up the results against teams that we got to. Playing like that, we won. Can, can you put your finger on what changed? Because first half, you know, you were on top, you deserved it ahead. Well, exactly. What changed was that we, we didn't come out with in, enough team energy that we had in the first half, for whatever reason. And players are human, so uh, sometimes they, they think, well, I can take it a bit easier because we had such a... Uh, a good first half, but you can't in in this league, in any league, because you know, the players are in this in this league because of their inconsistencies, and that's what we've got to be better as a group. They've got to be consistent for 90 minutes. But you have been pretty consistent throughout the season. It's a very unusual second half performance, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it is. But when it comes, you know, we've got to let everyone know that you know we're, <laughs> we're not hiding behind anything. We've got to say, well, yeah, we, we're going to have to work hard and three games in a week, but Eastley had the same as well. Um, and we've got, to, we've got to be better than that, otherwise you won't win the league. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. First half though, you were reasonably pleased. <laughs> yeah, your glasses are full, aren't they? <laughs> I'm trying to get a bit. You've done bit. great, you've done great. And listen, of course we'll lift it. Do you know what I mean? Of course I'll get them back to where they've got to be. And of course I'll be striving to, you know, my, my ambitions are still the same, so are the players. but. You've just got to be honest, because if you're not honest, that, you know they won't believe you when you said they've done great. OK, let me ask a slightly different train of thought. Do you think, in some ways, it's, it's a good thing that something like this has happened, just to reassure people that says, you know, you, if, you, if you don't keep it, this is what's going to happen? Well, we can use it like that. I mean, I'd rather not do it that way. I'd rather win the game 4-0 and say, well done, we're on the way. Like, you know, but um, you can only manage the situation. And as they were that bad the last 45 minutes, we can use that to make sure they focus, concentrate and probably do a lot of running in midweek so that we, uh, we make them realise that we better be running in games because otherwise we'll be running in training. Do you think it was a, a lack of, I don't know, you said energy, was that lack of effort? Or what, what, what was happening? Right there? Listen, these boys don't put in, a, it, it was a lack of effort but they don't do it consciously. Uh, that's the group we've got but they've got to know when that energy drops short of what we expect. They're not positioned at this level, especially Eastleigh, because you know, there's lads side for Eastleigh that might have been at Portsmouth 
um, and you know they might get a little bit more air than they might have done there. So it's it's one of them. There are you know that their management, their board of directors, they want them to win the league as well. So they're they're doing all they can to to do that. Uh, final final point. You've, you've made the point about the, the, the crowd being a little bit quiet, and particularly for stretching on a day when not far off three thousand people in the ground. Fantastic to get three thousand, and and it always at, at any club. It generally takes the players to get an atmosphere going, if you like, you know, and it takes good play and our fans always appreciate good play and they, and they clap and all that, but, uh, you know, they made a noise, at, at those away fans, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I know sometimes home fans can be quiet um, if, it's, if they're not excited by anything, so we know that we've got to turn that round, um, but they have sometimes turned it round for us. Maybe they thought there wasn't, like me, that there wasn't much to get behind in the second half. Gary, thanks so much. No problem. Uh, Gary, Thank you. is it almost a good thing to have t nearly two weeks now before another league game? Well, no, I'd rather a league game tomorrow, to be honest with you. I don't want to uh, spend two weeks with that last memory in my mind on that game. So, uh, well, listen, I've, that's happened to me at every single club that I've, had, you know, uh, that I've been at. So, I, I know how to deal with it. I won't slash my wrist just yet. Um, We've gained a point, if you like. We could have done a lot better. But uh, this is still a, a group in transition. It's still a new group. We're learning about them all the time. And uh, you know, if we get it right, we'll be there at the end. Is it almost a case to say, to say to them now, it's not a new group anymore, it's what, 18 games into the season and it's yeah. time to start start putting up performances? Well, that I think are they, yeah, to be fair, they have done in most. We're, we're talking about this game, you know, and we are second in the league, a point behind the leaders. Uh, and we always knew that there'd be other teams that were going to be quite close to us. You know, it's, it's not a league where there's going to be big gaps between the points. You know, there's some good teams in, in this league. But you've got to be, if you're going to win the league, you've got to be consistent over games. And you can't afford to be inconsistent, certainly not within games, that far apart. That was a, a seven out of 10 first half. And I, I couldn't even give us a 0 out of 10, that'd be enough, that'd be too much. Yeah, one thing has been consistent is your selection 6 out of 7 there with that team playing. Do, do you may have looked to, to, to maybe shake it up for the cup, Listen, knowing might, that there's not league points on yeah, it? Yeah, I might do, but I'm never going to forget that we're, we're, we're second point behind yeah. the leaders. And if I start saying, right, you're all gone, and we're now <laughs> bringing in a new 11, do you know what I mean? We will be in trouble. So let's hope that we can get these into a ship shape position to uh, or, or way of playing to, to to get some points quickly and maybe this is a blessing in disguise I just said in there I didn't want to lose the game but you deserve to lose it with the second half performance so again we're all honest you know so if anyone thinks any different then let me know and be honest <laughs> <laughs> finally um yeah. is top spot or taking top spot becoming a bit of a psychological barrier no no well it looks like it, doesn't yeah. it? but I, I don't think so I don't think so I think we're, uh, we are where we are, it's a point behind with, was it what we played, 18 games, so was it 28 games, if my maths is right, 28 games to go, there's plenty of time to make up that point, but what you've got to do is, as a manager, make your points in the dressing room to the players to say and ask them why was it such a difference between the two halves, what was it that, what, why did you switch off, because that's what we did, we just switched off. Thank you Gary.